It's often said that one man's trash is another man's treasure. I mean, look at raccoons. These trash pandas are walking around like little kings until the lights go on. But in San Francisco, garbage is actually a pretty good way to make money. Just ask the city's trash hauler, Recology, which was caught last year overbilling SF ratepayers by almost $100 million. That clerical error and other scandals are why voters are being asked this summer to pass Proposition F, which would implement reforms on Recology. Hi, I'm Megan Mitchell. And I'm Josh Kane. This is Hella News. In early 2020, San Francisco's former Public Works Department head, Muhammad Nuru, was arrested in a wide-ranging bribery scandal. It turns out the man nicknamed Mr. Clean was pretty freaking dirty. Numerous people were charged with crimes, including Recology officials. Paul Giusti, the company's former government relations manager, pled guilty to conspiracy to commit bribery and fraud and a follow-up investigation by city officials exposed the overbilling scandal. That's why Prop F is now asking voters if they want to create reforms that will put more checks and balances on the rate setting process. The measure could even open up Recology's monopoly on trash in San Francisco to bidding if supervisors feel the company isn't acting right. So how do city residents feel about the trash giant? As usual, San Francisco's had a lot to say on the matter. But how do you feel about your garbage man or woman? Do you love them? I don't know them. I have no relationship with my garbage man or woman. I don't even know who delivers my garbage, so... Delivers your garbage or takes... Or, I mean, uh, to picks up my garbage. <laughs> what letter grade would you give Recology's performance? Probably like a C minus. D minus. And if you could describe Recology in one word, what would that be? Monopoly. Consistent. Trashy. So there you have it. A small sampling of what San Franciscans think about Recology and Prop F. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments.